The Massachusetts Senate passed a police reform bill overnight. It bans chokeholds, limits the use of tear gas, and requires racism training. I would assume reporter Brittany Schaefer has more on this and how Rhode Island legislators hope to change policing. The Massachusetts Senate passed the police reform bill with a vote of 30 to 7 just after 4 a.m. this morning. Here in Rhode Island, legislators tell me it's time to do the same here. After a 17-hour session, the Massachusetts Senate passes a historic police reform bill. This is probably one of the hottest, but also the easiest pieces of legislation that, I, that I've had to vote on. The bill approved less than two months after the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police officers. The bill bans chokeholds, requires certifying officers, and requires an officer to intervene if excessive force is used by a fellow officer. And each time we have a session like this, I walk out impressed with the integrity, the character of my colleagues, their commitment to, to the cause. Here in Rhode Island, Representative Anastasia Williams proposed a bill last month to update the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights. She tells me she wants to add language and fairness to the current Bill of Rights. The reprimand is not uh, properly enforced to a degree. And the other thing that I, I'm disheartened about is that it takes so long for law enforcement uh, chiefs and or individuals of authority to reprimand an individual. The Senate also currently has a bill to create a legislative task force to review and provide recommendations on policies regarding the Bill of Rights. Last month, Rhode Island Police Department signed a 20 for 2020 pledge to implement new policy changes to address systematic racism. Williams tells me while these changes are necessary, currently Rhode Island is at the bottom for police reform changes. This is something that should have happened long time ago. Some individuals in power talk about you know, there's no corruption going on in the police department like it used to be. Maybe not exactly like it used to be, but it is going on, period. And Representative Williams emphasizing her Law Enforcement Officers Accountability Act is all about open dialogue. She says she expects a hearing for the bill by the end of the year. I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.